food production and make food available for all in the state. To celebrate the year 2024 World Food Day. Today's event is an opportunity to reflect on the importance of food security and the completion of vital role farmers play in sustaining our state and nation. The Food and Culture Organization of the United Nations define food security as a situation where all people at all times have physical and economic access to sufficient, safe and nutritious food that meets the dietary needs and food preferences for an IT and healthy life. Earlier in his welcome address, the State Commissioner for Agriculture and Food Security, Otumba Tola Fashiru, appreciated the governor for ensuring the maximum approval of the needs of farmers in the state. The commissioner added that the administration of Governor Demola Adeleke recently procured farming mechanism, distributed 6,000 packs of various vegetable seedlings, 8,000 liters of herbicides and fertilizers to farmers including 8,000 cassava cottons and 80,000 cashew seedlings, among others. Otumba Fashiru, who appreciated all stakeholders in the state agricultural sector assure the people of the state especially farmers of governor demola atelike's commitment towards putting in place mechanism and innovations towards achieving the objective of food security for all citizens in the state and beyond i wish to appreciate all stakeholders in the agricultural sector of our state our farmers the various community associations the youth groups the women farmers the people living with disabilities and the artisans for their support and collaboration with the ministry and indeed their support for the government of Adelola and Eliki. Highlights of the occasion were the presentation of food products by farmers who took turns to appreciate the governor for his support to the farmers. It has been Oluwa Tobiloba Odunoga reporting. Wealthy individuals and non-governmental organizations have been urged to collaborate with Oshu State Government in its empowerment policies in order to secure a better future for the youth. Governor Ademola Adeleke made, this, made the appeal at a skill accusation training and empowerment put together for some selected youths in the state. Sahid Adeboje has more of the story. The Premier Hall within the premises of Oshun State Secretariat was the venue of the skill acquisition training. The program afforded the selected youth from all the local government that make up Oshun State the opportunity to learn conventional skills like cake baking, small shops, and other snacks with adire and I and die inclusive. President Gadrin, Governor Ademola Adeleke, described the youths as, as a strong pillar through which the development of a state stands. The governor who spoke through the Commissioner for Youth Affairs, Sam Ashud Olaguju, noted that the present administration is keen at ensuring that youths in the state are connected with industries and experts that will shape their lives. He said that the contribution of the present administration to eradicating poverty will further be built up upon. He called on the beneficiaries of the skills acquisition training to transform the society through what they have learned. I want to inform you that Governor Ademola administration is dedicated to the development, engagement, employment, and inclusion of our The state government has launched several programs focused on education, entrepreneurship, and skill development. These efforts are highly commendable. In his speech, the chairman of State Out of Assembly Committee on Youth and Sports, Orebo Abiola Adeyeye, lauded the vision of the present administration in taking the youth out of poverty. He assured that more beneficial programs will come the way of Oshun Youths. Earlier, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Youth, Mrs. Taiwo Oladunjoye, described youth as greatest asset who needed the necessary attention in terms of employment and empowerment. Mrs. Oladunjoye will explain that the need to take Oshun Youth out of economic exploitation led to the empowerment called on the beneficiaries to reciprocate the gesture of the state government by turning themselves to a job creator without wasting time. Youths are the greatest assets the nation can have. They are at the forefront of progress and social change. They have contributed immensely towards economic development, political freedom, and fight against economic exploitation, social and political injustice. On the other hand, youths have also formed the pool of underemployed and unemployed globally. Hence the need to create opportunities for the youth.
messages from special assistant to the governor on Imale Youth Corps, Comrade Famukunwa Steven, and special assistant on youth mobilization, Comrade Olusha Gunyewale. The program climates with distribution of cash grants to the beneficiaries to start up businesses with the skills they have acquired in Adire and Cake Baking. For USBC News, this is Saeed Adeboje reporting. As election into local government in Osho State is around the corner, the National Drugs Law Enforcement Agency, Osho State Command, has recommended drug tests for all intending contestants in order to produce resourceful and humane leaders at the grassroots. The assistant commandant of the command, Prince Abdegeni Adeyoye, disclosed this after featuring on OSBC television program, Security and You. He noted that the recommendation is not to which aren't any candidate. He speaks further. Subject their yeah, contestants, the people that are contesting for the next local government election, to be tested for drug use. You know, the idea is not to persecute anybody. It's not to disqualify anybody. But just to ensure that the people that are going to lead us at the grassroots, they are people that are not that are drug free, that are not, uh, uh, you know, addic addicted to use of substances. Because one of the things that drug does in this system is to derail somebody's uh, sense of judgment. If we have some people that are under the influence of drug or substance, definitely when they are in positions, they will not be able to uh, judge accurately and to be able to take right decisions at the right time. With this, we have come to the end of the state's news on OSBC TV. Join us at 5 for the evening news. Thanks for watching. Good afternoon.